The lion cub doesn't open his eyes until he's two weeks old. He starts running at four weeks of age, and when he gets three months old, he learns hunting. He still depends on his mother and is considered a part of a pride, but then it's time to grow up and get exiled. So this lion was banished from the pride, and it looks like he's in real trouble. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, don't dig your own grave just yet. It can't be that bad. Or can it? Lions live in family groups. This is necessary to survive in the wild when you're a lion. But instead of sticking together for as long as possible, the pride is constantly kicking out its members. Most often, these are males, both young ones and adults, and it seems like utter nonsense. Why kick a young lion out when he can hunt and be useful? The same goes for adults or even old lions. What happened to respect for old age? But age is exactly the issue here. As soon as male lions hit puberty, the older males of the pride simply kick them out. What sounds terrible to humans is a special rite in the animal kingdom, something like an initiation. Long live the king. <laughs> Though the chance of surviving this rite is too slim. As I said, an adult lion can also easily lose his family when kicked out by a younger male, most likely he'll be doomed to certain death. Yes, males are always the ones who take care of banishing others. This is an ancient rite and most likely it comes as a surprise for young lions. Imagine you're living with your family when suddenly around the time when you're in high school and your parents tell you you're too old, leave now. Hey. Nobody warned you this could happen. There's no written warning, no one talks about it. You're simply kicked out of the house without the right to come back. What do you mean? You have no money, no job, and nowhere to go. It's your problem. Luckily for the lions, they don't need to have any savings or an apartment. On the other hand, it's not very reassuring and many lion teenagers seem to be hoping the elder lions will change their minds. After the first exile, some of them hang out in the pride territory for a while, until they're finally driven away for good. Leave. But, well fine, I said leave. Yes, I'm leaving. Are you leaving or not? The pride mostly consists of females. Does any of them stand up to protect their cubs? Most often the answer is no. In very rare cases, lionesses run away together with their grown children, and this is always a huge risk. You need to hunt alone and also protect the offspring. Being a single mother is not easy, let alone in the savanna, but a lioness can rejoin the pride at any time and she will be accepted because, well, let's be honest here, lionesses are the cornerstone of the pride. Males protect the territory and pose for beautiful photos while the females hunt, raise children, and also guard the territory. No wonder though, always be welcome back to the pride. The young male lion simply does not have the option to come back. So, what should he do? Survive, and be careful not to trespass. Oh my goodness, so skinny. Finding yourself on the lands of some other pride means risking your life or health. As I just said, all lions are in charge of the protection of their territory, which means they will not let a stranger close. It would be a shame to die because your built-in GPS navigator failed, but minor injuries can also greatly weaken a young lion. The reason for that is the lack of food, because who do you hunt and where? The entire territory has already been divided between other prides, which means you have two options, to wander really far or to eat carrier, but can a lion weakened by hunger find a good place to hunt? The chances are slim, maybe carrying that. Nope, hyenas definitely won't share with you. What did you expect? This is the animal kingdom with little room for compassion. Okay. Let's say a young lion managed to find a free turf and saw a herd of wildebeest there or buffalo. Well, something bait and juicy. Is it time to rub your paws and tie a white napkin around your neck? No, it's time to get away. The thing is lions simply do not know how to hunt large prey alone. They are not adapted for a long chase, which means that they can only launch a sudden attack. But a single attack of a predator weakened by hunger is not enough for the buffalo to surrender and willingly become a stake. Also, there's a herd nearby that will not just stand and watch someone's mother, aunt, or cousin being eaten by a lion. Best case scenario, a failed hunter will only be injured. The worst case, not everyone can survive exile. Hold on. Why do lions have so much trouble with hunting anyway? Take tigers, for example. They are also large predatory cats, but for some reason, they do not band together in striped prides and do not lose their cool when they find themselves face to face with their prey. At first, I also couldn't find the reason and then it hit me. 
the hunting conditions are different. It's easy to sneak up on prey when the forest surrounds you cheaters. Well, what do you do then? Are there any options to survive without the pride? Take up a warthog? Yeah, I'm talking about those wild pigs. Usually, lions love to hunt them, like other animals, but this also requires teamwork. What can some pig do against a whole pride? But this is the easiest level. And today, I'm talking about those who play on hard mode. A lonely predator is probably not up to the challenge because the prey is much more sturdy. And then you have to dig the warthog out of its hole. Did you know, lions can dig? Usually they prefer not to do this, but when there's no choice, they have to get their paws dirty. This is a long and exhausting process that can take up to seven hours. And if you've ever seen how potatoes are harvested, then you probably know this needs to be done in a certain season. Same goes for Vothog. The best time to get them out of their hole is during the rainy season and the soil was soft and moist is this main. It'll be easier for the lion. Unlikely, there will be a chance to see it through to the end though. Of course, Vothog are aware they are constantly being hunted. It's hard not to notice your neighbor was eaten the other day, so you have to look for ways to survive. The best way is speed and long distance running, which the lion simply cannot endure. In addition, when leaving the hole, the warthog does not look back, but immediately darts forward. He'll figure out where he is later. For now, the most important thing is to get as far as possible from the spot where predators can wait for him. Hey, the Lion King told a different story. Well, let's say the lion is tired of eating Vaught Hog, which is understandable. What does he have to do to be accepted back into the pride? So, will you bring me five seagulls? But we're in the middle of the savanna. I said five seagulls. Okay, actually, in order for the exiled lion to get his pride back, he'll have to defeat the alpha male. The classic scheme, kill a king to become a king, but is it really possible for a starving loner to take down a trained fighter? who's fed by lionesses. Only physically strong, smart, and healthy males survive to become the head of the pride. Some even train, according to the lion's Rocky Balboa scheme, walking through water to build up muscles. I didn't find the right footage, so here's one that seems fitting. All that's left is to add that theme. Sometimes in order to survive and win their own pride, the exiled lions form a group. More often than not, they can be brothers or cousins who had to leave the family at the same time, and they, well, they set up something like a student dorm, like the Bachelor's Pride, where there may even be six males. Sometimes the group accepts adult exiles who have also lost their families to serve as kind of mentors for the young, but at some point it ends. Lions go in search of a pride, sometimes together. This way, they have more chances to win the fight, and the trophy can be shared. And now the lion is in the pride again, the heavenly life of the king of beasts. You can relax now, though lived happily ever after definitely doesn't work for lions. Can they be kicked out again? Yes. One day a younger and stronger male will appear and the older lion will have to submit. What? Exile again. Oh shit, here we go again. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video for old lions, losing the pride means certain death. They are not strong and healthy enough to hunt as they used to, but they still have to eat. In addition, lions have an incredible appetite and adult male needs about 15 pounds of meat per day. Where can you get it? If you can no longer hunt and vaught hog are out of season, all you can do is eat all sorts of beetles and worms like Simba. Though, if the lions kept this kind of diet, they would destroy all the insects in the area. The math says an adult Simba had to eat 24,292 crickets a day. No sleep, no wasting time, looking for food, just chewing constantly. So what happens next? Does the pride doom an old lion to certain death and no one cares about it? Circle of life and all that? Well, not for every lion. It seems super weird, but in Alliance society, there is a retirement plan. The only for lionesses females who hunted for the good of the pride, all their lives gain, access to meat in old age, even if they can no longer get it themselves. But the old male has only one option. This is what it means to have no solid retirement plan. See you later.